Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today I'm working on a 2011 Ford F-150. I'm replacing the left rear door latch. It's a very easy job. I want to be the guy that shows you how to do it. If you need this or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. So to start doing this latch right here, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get inside to it, right? We need to disconnect everything that's connected in there. It's probably some wiring, some linkage. So we're gonna need to remove this panel. The panel itself doesn't have push clips that lock it in. Normally a lot of door panels will have that. They'll have a couple screws and then just push clips so you grab it and yank it once you get all the screws out. This one has little hooks that go down. So once we get all our screws out, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it. We're gonna lift it up and then out and we're gonna make sure that we got everything disconnected that we need to and then we can remove it. So first I'm gonna start at the top. This panel right here has to come off. So you can use whatever you've got to try to pry it off. I'm just gonna go ahead with a plastic tool. Okay, it's just a molding tool, it's nothing special. I'm just gonna work my way along, pull it right off. Let's get the little locking clips, they fit in here, okay? I'll set this aside. I can go ahead and remove this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use a six millimeter. Turn it to the left to remove it. There's our screw. So now, generally speaking, in the center of the door, there'll be another mounting point, and then there'll be probably another one or two under here, which feels like there's two. So we'll start in the center here. I'm gonna try to remove this black plate right here, and I'm just gonna use something like a hook. See if I can work something behind there. Just give it a little tug. Sometimes they can be pretty stuck in there. There we go. So we've got this under here. That's a little bit larger. Looks like maybe an eight. We can figure that out in a minute. We'll work our way down here though, and see what else we're dealing with so we can get all the tools we need at once. One right here, one over here. Let's see if this six works again. Oh yeah, since I got my tool out already, I'll just go ahead and remove these. And then I'll move up to that one up there once I get the right socket for that. We got all our two bottom ones. I'm just gonna grab this upper one up here with my eight millimeter. Short extension, you can use whatever you've got, but it's an eight millimeter head. Okay, there it is. Seems a little overkill for me, but I'm no engineer. Okay, so now we'll just kind of analyze our situation here. This feels like it's got plenty of movement at this point. I don't feel any more bolts coming around. Just double check, I got those two out. I'm just gonna try to lift it. Very nice. There we are. So we could take a peek behind, see what we're dealing with. Good news is we don't have any wiring over here. We just have our um, handle release cable. Should be pretty easy to remove that. I'll take a look. Got a couple little squeeze clips there, so I'll grab some pliers. What else do we need? A wiring harness down here. See if I can do this. Feels like I need to squeeze it. Right in the center, there's a little squeeze. Should just want to pull down. Okay, I'm squeezing it, doesn't want to pull. There it is. Like always, whenever we remove, we remove wiring, we take a look and make sure that it's nice and clean, it's not rusted or funny rainbow colors. We don't need anything like that in this. Looks okay. So, it's kind of hard to see and do things back like this, right? Um, I told you how to get that off, but it's difficult to get stuff in here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push on this right here and this right here and I'll show you what it was. Now I can flip this around. I'm just gonna get it so it'll stay and we can actually work on this. So now we can see our two little squeeze tabs. There's one there and one on the bottom side. i take my little pliers, or long pliers. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try to squeeze those in. Nice and easy. And I'm gonna try to push this green thing out of my handle. Just like that, bring that around, slide this out. So we got that handle out, and lift this up. We'll set this aside, everything looks great. We'll just put it aside. So now we're gonna take off this insulating stripping here. So uh, some of it will stick, some of it won't stick as much. You just use something like this, a little plastic. Just try to get the majority of it to stick with the plastic, okay?
sometimes you'll get this stuff, it'll be so sticky, you'll get it all over yourself. So just be careful. Uh-oh, that's gonna be on there forever. Great. So we're just gonna keep doing this until we get it peeled back quite a bit and we can get into here to see what it is we're gonna be working with. So here we go. We're gonna analyze our situation so we know what we're dealing with, right? This is essentially what it's gonna look like except it's in the door. Right here, we're gonna have an electrical connector. We're gonna have this right here for the lock. And we're gonna have this right here. So this is all gonna be inside the door panel right in here. It's gonna be hard for you to see while I'm trying to work on it, but I wanna kinda of give you an idea of what's going on. This right here, it's gonna be pretty easy. We'll assume that it's locked, right? I'm just gonna grab it with my little hook, pop it, and I'm gonna remove the rod. It's just sitting in there once I pop that free. That'll just be nice and free, okay? Over here, there's our little lock clip. So I'm gonna be coming from behind with my pick once again. I'm gonna to try to pick it, pull it out, and pull this straight out, okay? This one right here is gonna be the most challenging of the two. There's a little uh, slot right there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to push through. I'm gonna see if I can release this, move it, and then I'm gonna see if I can slide it out. It'll either come this way or it'll go this way. I'm not 100% sure yet until I get it out. Um, but then there's gonna be another rod that goes in through there. So what I believe is gonna happen is I'm gonna push this and then I'm gonna be able to just take the whole piece, slide it out, and that's how it's gonna come out, okay? So I wanna kinda give you a little idea of what we're looking at here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the electrical connector. I'm gonna squeeze the tab and pull it out. I'll show you that. There's a little tab, it was just like this. So I squeeze it with my index and pulled it right out. We'll check to make sure there's no funny colors, no rust or greens or blues or any rainbow colors. You pretty much just want solid metal color. Looks great. We can set this aside. Next, I'm gonna do the pink clip that I showed you. I'm just gonna use my uh, pick. I'm gonna try to grab it. And just pull it towards me. There we go, almost. There it is. I'm gonna grab that rod. I'm just gonna pull it aside. All right, so I got that rod off now. I'm just gonna grab this cable right here. I'm gonna disconnect that just by simply sliding out of that groove that it was in that I showed you. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna grab these. I'm just gonna use a ratchet. I have a T27, it's a Torx bit, 27. We've got our first bolt here. Just show you it real quick. That one I'm gonna put back in just a little bit. Just a few threads. And then I'll just remove these other two. So I'm holding the inside. I'm holding onto my latch. I can wiggle it if I want. I'm just gonna take this, take it right out. Try to grab our latch. Okay. So now we're gonna have to um, move our window regulator around. So the way we're gonna do that is there's a 10 here, 10 there, and 10 right down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove these two, and then I'm gonna loosen this one so I can move it around. Hopefully I can get it out of the way enough to be able to move our latch around so we can see what's going on. So I'm gonna turn these to the left with my 10 millimeter. This one's just a nut. Set that stuff aside. We should be able to move this around. Let's see, let's try to get this out of the hole. It still feels a little stiff. Try to loosen this up some more. Maybe even take it right out so we can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so I got all three of those bolts right out. It gives us plenty of room right here. So hopefully we can maneuver this. I'm gonna try to get the whole arm right down and out. Here's our cable. Just a little scoopy thing. And it slides right into there. All right. See if I can get this latch down. Just trying to work it around. Sometimes you have minimal room areas like this. So there we go. Okay. So now we got to get this off. Just goes like this and then out. Goes right into this top hole. If you want to put it in, just go like that and in. Okay. Cable just went right in there. 
just like this. So when I go to install my new latch, this is exactly what we're gonna do. Just go in like that, go in like that, go in like that. Except I'm gonna be in the door doing that, okay? So when I removed it, all I did was just go like that. That part didn't come out as easy. It was in the door, but then it would just slide out. And I just wanted to show you the comparison between the old one and the new one. Get the latch, obviously, on both of them. Cool. This right here, same setup, perfect. Electrical connectors, perfect. Got our little pink clips. That one just pulls up. A little easier with a screwdriver or something like that. But anyway, same thing. Got the spot that the cable goes into, or the arm for the, um, sorry, for the lock. Same right there. So there you go. As you can tell, they're both the exact same. Quality parts. So if you need this or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. So we've got our brand new quality part here. I'm gonna take my locking arm, just gonna slide it in, try to get it just like that. I'm gonna bring it up along the unit, okay? You can even bring it up here if it makes it easier for you. Now what we need to do is we need to weasel this in the door. Imagine it's inside, coming up, up, up. This needs to come up through this hole right here, okay? Right up in there. This is gonna completely slide over here. While it's in the door but not mounted, we're gonna take this and take the little cable, stick it in that hole right there, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Lock all that in. We'll take our three bolts. We'll just start them all in so we can still move around a little bit. And then we'll get everything hooked up, like our rod unit right here, our power wire right there. And then we'll go ahead and tighten everything up, okay? So here we go. Wish me luck. I can weasel it in here without breaking anything. Super important, I don't want to break anything. Okay. Got my locking arm. I'm trying to bring it right up through this hole right here, like I mentioned. baby. There it is. Grab our rod. Get that out of the way back there. Okay. I've got my cable. Show you what I'm doing. Going in. Okay. Slide that in there. That's nice and locked in. I'm doing now is I'm trying to get the rod that goes into the pink, the pink clip out of the way so when I put in my two or three uh, mounting screws it won't be pinched okay get my three bolts um, if you wanted to you could try to use some thread locker that's up to you I'm not worried about that I'm just gonna start these in like I said or at least that's the plan Let's see if I can get it going I'm just gonna give them a couple little cranks just so I can make sure that they are actually physically started in pretty good. I don't want to try to wobble them around too much if they're not in at least a few good threads, just because I don't want to strip out the holes on the new unit, right? All right, so I've got those three bolts in. They're started pretty good. I can still move my unit around, so that's good. Now I'm gonna go for that rod that goes into the pink clip. I'm just gonna slide it into where it'll sit. There we go. I'm gonna lock that clip in just for a little click. Got this right here. When I took it off, I used my index finger like this. So that's how I'm gonna put it back in. I'm not gonna try to go this way, it doesn't go that way. I use my index finger to take it off so I know which direction it goes in. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the same way, listen for a click. Perfect. Got our little cable here. Nice. We'll tighten up our unit.
That feels pretty great. Now we can go ahead and put in the, um, the bolts and the nuts and everything we've got here for this. So we'll just try to move it around, get everything lined back up. Looks like it should go pretty good. That's what I'm dealing with. I've got my nut down here, obviously. Easy enough to figure out. We'll go for the top bolt next. I'm just gonna lift it up. See if I can get it moved here. Sometimes getting this stuff lined up is difficult. Um, something like this would have been nice if we could have just kept this particular bolt in because it's got the little slide groove right here. But um, I would have had to let the window down to be able to raise this up and it would have just made it a little bit more complicated. So for the sake of time and effort, I just went about doing it this way. And I think it's gonna be fine. Just grab my 10 millimeter here in one second. I can get the other tool off my ratchet. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these right down. Good. Last one. Cool. I'm going to grab my tool out of here, flashlight. Before I go ahead and put everything back together, I'm just going to give it a test because why not, right? Stick this up so it's not going to get caught anywhere. You can hear that functioning. It's moving the lock inside here up and down, so that's great. All right. Very good. Try locking it. Make sure that I get another door open. All right. Perfect. So we know we got that together, right? Okay. So uh, before we put it back together, we'll just double check. Everything's nice and tight. Tightened, tightened, tightened. Get this all reconnected, secured, so it's not flopping around, it's not gonna hurt anything. This is gonna be secured by the door panel, it won't be able to wobble around and make noise. We tightened all three of these, and everything inside the door is plugged in, obviously, because it functioned. You can just give it a tug. I think it's fine. We'll move along. Put on the seal here. There we go. Let's grab our door panel. So here we go. We've got our electrical connector here. We've got our door lock shaft. Got this right here for the handle, okay? So we need to find all these things on the door or our door panel. We've got our connector here. So that's where our electrical is gonna go to. Awesome. It's right here. That's where this is gonna go through, okay? And then this right here, just gonna slide up and through here and we're gonna go ahead and put on the door handle. All right, the way that this door panel came on, um, off is the same way that's gonna go on essentially. It's just gonna kinda slide right down into these holes and then down, you got all these holes. So this one, some door panels you'll find that they just push, push on like this. This one you just gotta line it all up, start at the bottom probably, just so it holds it for you. You're gonna find your electrical connector Okay, feel how it goes. And we're just gonna see if we can get it in. Let's see. Might be easier to get it in if I took out this switch, but let's see if I can do it without. If I can't, well, it's no big deal. We'll just, uh, we'll just take out the little switch. Yeah. I think it'll be easier. So before we go ahead and install this, let's uninstall the old one. So to take the switch unit out, I'm just gonna take a screwdriver or whatever I have access to. I'm gonna push right here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this upper one. There's my switch, okay. Let's put this aside. We'll get the door panel on now, okay? Be nice and easy at this point. We're just gonna line up all those little grooves. 
make sure that we have access to our wire and we go to get this on. Getting this part up in here might be the most interesting part because there it is. Coming up through. There we are. So now we'll just try to find our cable real quick before we go ahead and start screwing anything in, just in case we have to, uh, you know, lift it back up and grab our cable. I can feel it. But it's just out of reach. There it is. So the door panel is in and flush up against all the way around the door. I know I've got everything situated in there. Got my wire, got my cable. This is for my door handle. Door lock's ready to go. Perfect. All right. We'll grab this. Let's get our little uh, clippy do there. Just gonna slide this unit in. Got our handle. Okay, that's what it looks like on the back side. Pretty easy. So this little nub right here is gonna go into there, and then we're gonna go basically like, see if I can show you. Essentially like this, bring it around. And I'm gonna bring the green clip to the outside there, right through this little slot. I'm just gonna see if I can push it in. That's the way it's gonna look has to be completely locked right there, okay? Those ears have to wrap around and grab on so this thing can go nowhere. Last thing you want is that falling off and then you can't open your door, right? It's no fun for anybody, okay? So now to put this in, we're gonna go in this way and then latch it in this way. Right here, there's a couple ears. These are non-moving ears, so they're gonna slide behind there. Over here are the pronged ones. These do move. So we're gonna go with the non-moving ones. We'll just shove those into place. And we're gonna roll it in. Just like that. So here's what we're dealing with. Three of these, one of these. All right, this one right here, we remember it went in here, it took days to get out. Well, not really days, but it seemed like it. Um, and then the other three, you've got one, and then one under here, and one over here, okay? Easy peasy, we'll just get all those in, we'll move along. So we've got our eight millimeter here. I'm just gonna get that all the way turned in. Once it feels like it bottoms out, like that, just give it a little bit, not too much. That feels pretty great. Next, we'll move on to our other three screws. We got them up here, using a six millimeter. Bottomed out, a little bit. Do the other two, move that down here. There it is. So here we go. We're in the final stretch, everybody. Got a couple pieces left. See where they go. This one's gonna go right up here, right? Little push clips, holes. Get so they're lined up. Feels good. Get this one. No real clips, really. It's just kind of like these little angled things. So there isn't too much to worry about or think about. Just push them in. All right, I'm gonna hop in. I'm gonna give it a try. There we go. I'm gonna lock it. Feels good. Unlock. Perfect. All right, everybody. We completed that service. Great job. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.